folks, Adrian Amos here from Synergy Technical, and today is race day, and I'm super excited. There's no better way to warm up for a great race than to go ahead and ride into work, but that means I gotta travel light. And that means we had an opportunity to test the real operational limits of Windows 365, because all I've brought today is a phone. I do not have a laptop on my desk. I don't have a laptop available to me. There's no spares inventory. So we're gonna head into work, get ready for a meeting, and we're gonna have hopefully a very boring montage of me doing normal mundane Windows 365 things to get my job done. So. Catch you later. All right, so we're in the office now and I have my phone and I do not have a PC, but I wanna talk about why I think this is gonna work. So my phone is a Samsung flagship phone, right? And that means it has the ability to run a full Chrome OS through the Samsung DeX capability. It also has a USB-C port and I have a fancy port replicator back here that supports USB-C. So I'm just gonna plug this guy in. And I know it's gonna work on this monitor right here. I've got all the accessories necessary to be able to connect to my external screens. And here we go, Samsung, Samsung DeX is fired up. And then once I'm logged in, my phone is gonna emulate a full Chrome OS over here, and it's gonna surface all of my installed applications into my desktop environment. So right here, you're gonna see that I have the remote desktop client. I'm gonna be able to connect directly into my Windows 365 environment and use it as if this were a full functioning PC right here. And uh, we'll check back. All right, so I'm in. This is my Windows 365 environment. I'm using it to connect to an additional tenant out here, my demo environment. I've got all of my admin dashboards up here. I can see that someone's trying to reach out to me in Teams. And the only limitation I really have is that if I move too close to the edges, I get these bars here that are part of the Android operating system. But otherwise, this is a fully functioning Windows environment. I can do anything I want to with it. And I'm not even really being pulled down by the speed of the phone, right? So the Chrome OS is not a limiting factor here. It's letting me operate this as if it were a perfectly normal, perfectly speedy Windows machine that I had physically in front of me. So I'm optimistic. So I wanted to get out of the noisy office space for a minute, actually not really distract anybody, but I, I've been pretty impressed. I've made it through about half the day so far, and the phone has really held up to everything that I've needed it to do. Uh, I can actually remote access the remote desktop client, whether I'm at my desk or even natively here on the phone. Uh, if I simply open up the RD client application, I have my list of workspaces that are available for me. And just like I did when I was sitting with an actual keyboard, mouse, and external monitor, I could present my credentials. It's gonna connect me right in, and I'm gonna be back into my uh, Windows 365 environment exactly where I left it just a few moments ago at my actual desk. And it's gonna allow me to do fun things like turn and have it rescale to the size of the, the environment here. And what's really kind of fun here is that uh, I can choose if I wanna be operating this thing as a touch screen, so I've got the little touchy guy right here and I've also got a mouse so if I do have an external mouse connected to it it operates a little bit more natively to what I'm accustomed to uh, but all of my apps are still here my people are still trying to get in touch with me in teams uh, I can see exactly what's been going on I could actually connect to uh, an external monitor if I wanted to and broadcast this just like I would do with any other application in my Samsung phone now I do want to be very clear this is not a capability that exists on 100% of our devices either, and it may or may not exist on your mobile device. So I'm not trying to tell you that this is going to replace your desktop, but the fact that I've got this USB-C connector, the fact that I have an external monitor, keyboard, and mouse uh, has enabled me to get through my day so far without needing an actual physical PC. There are some caveats for the, the DeX service that say that it can cause your phone to run hot, um, my guess is if I were connecting a whole bunch of wireless peripherals to it, that might be a challenge for me. But so far, everything has, again, just been through this one single USB-C port. Uh, I've noticed no additional heat. Um, and again, because it's using that USB-C port, it's also a charging port. So I haven't had any challenges with battery limitations. All right, and that's a wrap on my first day ever working without an actual physical PC. 
It's now time to get ready to race bikes over here at Bryan Park in Richmond. The tradition's been going on almost as long as I've been alive. Actually, maybe longer. Anyway, the phone held up pretty well. The one thing I will say is that I actually did have to restart the DEX application itself after a while because I don't really think it's intended to be used as an eight-hour-a-day program. But Windows 365 held up great. I was able to attend meetings as I needed to, get work done, produce content. Uh, so, awesome. I'm going to call it an all-around success, and I'm going to get ready for my race. Catch you next time.